Hello everyone, this is Amar Kumar Ram continuing the micro frontend tutorial. I know that you have watched all the previous videos of this tutorial series. Now let's continue from there. We have already created MFE app that is running over port 4300 and host app that is running over port 4200. I have created a new branch called consume shell app monorepo because today we are going to consume the shell application or the MFE app application in the host application. So you will get the latest code of this video in branch consume shell app monorepo over my github repo. Also you will get the latest code in the master branch. Now let's go to the browser and check MFE app and host app. Here MFE app is running over 4300 port but if we open the dev tool panel then we can see that there is a console error related to syntax and it is saying that cannot use import.meta outside a module. To resolve this, we need to go and do some change in the webpack file of this MFE app. So let's go to the webpack config file of MFE app and here we will add a key called script type as text forward slash javascript. Now to check this, first we need to restart the server as it is a change in the config file. So we'll go to the terminal of MFE app, we'll stop the server and then we will restart it again. Now as we can see, the error is gone over this 4300 port. Now let's focus on the consuming this MFE app in the host app. That is remote entry.js file that I showed in the previous video. We need to consume this file in the host app. So let's do that. First, we will go to the webpack config file of host app. Here, we'll do the same thing. That is, we'll add the key script type. We'll copy from this MFE app webpack file. And we'll paste in the host app. After this, we'll also remove this library part as it is not required. We'll remove it from MFE app config file as well. Now to consume the MFE app in the host app, we need to uncomment this remotes object. In this remotes object, we need to define the URL or the server from where we need to fetch the MFE. We'll also uncomment this name key of module federation to identify this webpack config file uniquely. Now we will mention the MFE app server that is running over 4300 port. Here the name is given as MFE app. We'll copy this and we'll put it in the key of remotes object. In the value of this key, we'll write the name again given at the rate and we'll provide the URL of the remote entry file. The MFE app remote entry file is running over 4300 port. We'll do the same here. And the file name is remote entry.js as we have defined in MFE app webpack file in the file name key. We can give any name in the file name key. The same name we have to provide here in the remotes object. This is it for the config changes. So what we'll do, we'll restart the server for both host app and MFE app as we have done changes in both the files. So we'll go to first host app server will stop it and then run it again without open flag. Similarly, we'll go to the MFE app terminal, stop the server and restart again. After doing all these changes, let's see if everything works fine over the browser. So this is host app. If I refresh this, there is no such console error and everything is working fine. Whereas in host app, if I open the dev tool panel, and go to the console and refresh the page. Here also we are not getting any error or console error. And if I click on to do list route, it is routing perfectly fine. Now we'll do further changes to consume MFE app in the host app. So let's jump into the code. As we are done with webpack config file, now we can go to the app routing module file of host app because here only we need to load MFE app when we route to to-do list link. 
to load the MFE app, we need to remove this to do component as I already informed in previous videos that we need to remove to do component and we load the MFE app when we route to to do list URL. So let's remove this component and also from the import section and from one more place that is route com array. Because to do component we are not going to use. Even if you want, you can remove this to do folder from the host app project because it is not required now. I'm not removing this. I'm just continuing with the code and will load the MFE. To load the MFE, I'll use a key called load children. And here we'll have an anonymous function which will return a function result and that function belongs to the model federation package that function is known as load remote module it is getting import from the angular architects model federation package now this function expects an object with few parameters the first key is remote entry In remote entry, we define the URL from where the MFE will be fetched. So we can put the MFE remote entry.js file link directly here, or we can create a const. So let's create the const and say MFE app URL. Here we will provide the remote entry.js file link. So for that, let's copy from the browser. If I go to the MFE app and write remote entry.js, this link we need to copy and paste in the code. Now here we will paste it and we'll use this same URL here. Since it's a const, let's make it in all caps letter, MFE app URL. We'll copy this const variable and we'll paste it here. The second key is remote name. That is the unique name of the MFE. If I go to the MFE app config file, the unique name is given as MFE app. I'll copy this and I'll paste it here. And the third and the last key is exposed module. That is the module that we have exposed from the MFE app. So we'll go to the MFE app webpack config file and the module that we are exposing is to do module. So we'll copy this in the same manner and we'll paste it in the app route model file of host app. So we'll put it as a value in the exposed module. Now, since it's a promise, there will be a then where we'll get the module and we'll return m dot to do module. In case of error, we can have a catch block where we can log the error in the developer console. So we are done with our code. Now, whenever we'll route to to-do list, it will fetch the MFE app from this MFE URL and load in the host app. Let's see if everything works fine or not. I'm at host app and if I refresh the page and go to the network tab, you will see that there is no such remote entry file has been loaded. That's the beauty of micro frontend. The MFE app will be loaded on demand whenever the user requests then only the mfe app will be loaded so we have made the code such as when the user clicks on to-do list then only the mfe app will be loaded in the host application and since we are at home link the mfe app is not loaded please note that host app is running at 4200 port now we'll clear the network tab and click on to-do list as we can see that remote entry.js file has been loaded from 4300 port but nothing has been reflected at the host side that is because we have missed a code at the mfe side so let's quickly do that to resolve that we need to go to the to-do list module that we are exposing from the mfe app as we can see in the mfe app config file we are exposing this to-do list module so we'll go to the to-do list module and here we'll import browser module first and we'll also import router module. We'll use the function for child of it 
it expects an array of objects so our object will have a path which will be an empty path and we will load the component that is to do list component that's it from the mfe side now what we have done here let's quickly understand this so whenever user come to the host application and be on home link then home component will load whereas if user switch to to do list route then this host app will load the remote module from this mfe app url that is provided and it will load the module that has been exposed from that mfe url and in our case it is to do module when it will try to load the to do module it will go to the to do module of the mfe app and will check what has been written on empty path here in our case in empty path to do list component has been written so host app will load the to do list component at to do list route now let's check over the browser if everything works fine or not so i am at home page where i can see that remote entity.js file has not been loaded and as soon as i click on to do list it gives an error it says that to do module does not exist in container that is coming from the catch block and it is also saying cannot read property of undefined this is because we have exposed the to do module and not to do list module as we can see in the webpack config file we have exposed to do module but actually we need to expose the to do list module so we'll go to the to do list module we'll copy this class and we'll paste the same name here as we have changed in the mfe app config file we need to restart the server of mfe app so we'll stop the server and we'll restart again meanwhile we can go to the app routing module.ts file and we need to consume to do list module instead of to do module so let's change it now if i save this and go to the browser everything seems fine let's go to the network tab here we cannot see the remote entity.js file now if i clear this and click on to do list we can see that remote entity.js file has been loaded from 4300 port and the same content is getting rendered here at the 4200 port which is getting exposed from the 4300 port to do list route now the question here is how many times this remote entity.js file will load at the host side the answer is it will load only once so if i click on home again and come to to do list there will be no hit in the network tab for remote entity.js file for that i'll clear this network tab and click on to do list you can see that there is no such hit to the 4300 port server to fetch this mfe data now let's do the last thing that is we'll change something in mfe app repo and it should reflect in host app repo without even doing a deployment at 4200 port deployment means restarting the server at host application so let's quickly do that we'll go to the home page for now and we'll go to the mfe app let's change something here let's add a thank you note after this order list so we we'll need to go to mfe app to do list html file here i'll add a h1 tag and say thank you for watching my videos if you save this you can see that mfe server is restarting whereas we have not done any change in the host app now let's check over the browser so we have added this note that is thank you for watching my videos let's go to the host app and if i click over to do list the same has reflected here it means whatever has been changed in the mfe app it will be reflected at the host side at the same time now we will work on the communication between host app and mfe app as both are running on different servers in my upcoming videos please do subscribe if you are new on my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so that you will not miss any notification from this channel also please do share with your friends if you find this useful let's meet in the next video till that be happy take care Signing off.